Many who uh, were displaced by this storm are desperate to find housing right now. There's such a tremendous shortage of it. I mean, we could not find hotels down right. here. And with it, you know, we actually, when we were calling, they said, um, well, you can find a place in Tampa. Right. So, uh, you know, finding a place is, is very, very difficult. Yeah. A man from South Gulf Cove in Charlotte County actually found a place to stay yeah. in Northport, a rental, but he had to drive through floodwaters just to get there. Jeff Barker says the water was knee high and maybe even higher on the roads in Northport in this neighborhood. He says, unfortunately, many of the homes, as, as you can see the, the video that, that we're sharing with you, the homes are also underwater, except the one that he was looking to rent. I was looking at a rental because our roof blew off. So we're trying to find a place to stay and this actually looked like a good option at this point. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds everybody's going to need a place. 50% of the roofs in our neighborhood seem like they're messed up to some degree. And as you can see, many roads are still flooded and there are many traffic signals out. We saw that driving into yeah. Fort Myers, a lot of traffic signals out. And of course, there are first responders trying to direct people. But really, we're hearing from every county you should not be out driving around if you do not have to be. But a lot of people are out because they're looking for supplies. They are. They're, they're kind of desperate to find what they really need to survive day to day, whether or not it's water, food, supplies, cleanup supplies, all those kind of things. They're doing a good job trucking that stuff in, but it, yeah. it's taking some time.